it's Chinbeard here, and it's time to put some more work into my Judge Dread helmet. Uh, this thing I'm hoping to have ready for Dragon Con. We got like less than a week left here, so fingers crossed. Anyway, the next few things we want to do to this helmet are as follows. First of all, we've got this badge thing here, and we want to glue that in place. Um, I like to use a five minute epoxy. I will, of course, sand down the back of the badge and the area where I want to glue it in the helmet. And that will get stuck right in there, glued in place. And then the edges around it there, the edges will get filled in with Bondo so that once it cures and we sand it down, um, it will have a nice seamless edge between the badge and the helmet. After working on it for a while, I start to notice there are a couple of tiny little bubbles from the casting process. Those are easily filled in if they are less than a sixteenth of an inch with this uh, spot glazing putty or glazing and spot putty. Yeah. Anyway, this stuff is really fantastic. It air dries and then you can sand it down. Once I've done that, the entire thing needs to get sanded. Now for something like this, which has already been primed prior to showing up, uh, there isn't too much sanding work to do. There are a couple of areas that need a little tender love and care. I like to use something like a 220 grit sandpaper to take care of those. And then I'll go over the entire thing with a sanding sponge. These things are really fantastic. You can get them from any hardware store and they really help you get in those tiny little nooks and crannies. With our helmet all sanded, uh, it may require another pass of priming and sanding, but this looks pretty good. I think it's ready to get a little bit of paint. Um, I like to use just normal gray primer for something like this. Um, I'll put it on my little Lazy Susan, give it a spin and give it a couple light layers of primer. And then for crying out loud, let it dry. Let it dry like overnight. Let that primer really sit in there and get it ready for your first color of paint. So that's it for this installment. Um, hopefully in the next part of this, I'll be putting the paint on and coloring it and detailing and clear coating it and then installing the visor. Uh, <laughs> fingers crossed again that I'll get that all done before Dragon Con and then I can bring this with me. Once again, this helmet kit was made by David over at Two Story Props, and I'll put a link down below so you can go talk to him if you have any questions about the helmet. Uh, if you have any questions for me, just go to facebook.com slash punished props or twitter.com slash chinbeard. Thanks everyone, and I'll see you on the next episode.